13. What is the expected electrical conductivity of the following solutions? And then we have HCl aqueous. Okay. So basically we want to know if we had a solution of HCl in water, because AQ means aqueous, and anything that means aqueous just means that you are in water, right? Aqua uh, water. So if I put HCl into water and the resulting solution, we have a resulting solution. If I stuck a wire uh, in the solution uh, that was attached to a light bulb, would the light bulb turn on? Would there be any electrical conductivity? And electrical conductivity always comes from ions in a solution. So you definitely need to have some uh, charges, whether they're direct charges or whether they're partial charges. The first thing that I always look for is, is the question, uh, is the, you know, uh, compound in question a strong acid or a strong base? Because strong acids and strong bases, they are going to break down 100% in water and you're going to get those direct ions. So is HCl a strong acid or a strong base? It's on the list. It's on the list of six. There's six strong acids and six strong bases in this life. Probably you would have to memorize these. Uh, you're definitely going to see strong acids, strong bases in uh, your acid base chapter. So just good to memorize them. But since uh, HCl is a strong acid, we go. We say that strong goes with strong. If it's a strong acid, it is a strong electrolyte. And electrolyte is just a fancy way for saying, hey. We have, we have charges uh, in, a, in a solution, right? So for all those sports drinks that market that say, you know, that it we're packed with electrolytes, congratulations, you just put a little bit of salt in some water, colored it, and now you have a, a sports drink. Um, so all that electrolytes are is just, you know, uh, ions, Na+, Cl-, minus. in this case, H+, plus, Cl-. Minus. But anyway, if you are a strong electrolyte, right, your conductivity is going to be high. This has a lot of conductivity. So strong acids, strong bases, high conductivity because you have direct ions. HCl will directly break down into H plus and Cl minus. And since you have those ions in solution, you will conduct electricity. And... That's the answer here. It's highly conductive. Okay. What'd you think? Thank you for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know if this helped you out. I uh, love talking to you guys, and I hope you're having a great day out there. Keep studying hard. Keep with the videos. We also have physics and math videos on the channel. And yeah, so go, go check the channel out. Thank you so much, and I will talk to you in later lessons. Okay. Bye-bye.